Cultural competence uh, is a broad term. And by that I mean you talk about someone's race or ethnicity, it's kind of narrow. But with culture, it's broader. It's all the aspects that make a person who they are. The things that they've learned, things that experienced through their life and interacted. So it's kind of unique, but it's very broad as a look at an individual. And so it's very important that when you communicate as a lawyer or just anybody, that you give an opportunity to see what that person's made of, what they're about, their experience is life, because it's all so different. The story I told the group today was about my son, Miles, and um, he has long hair. It's down, down his back. Um, he has it as a personal choice and also for cultural, spiritual, and religious reasons. Um, we are Native American. My children are Stockbridge Muncie enrolled members. And um, we were enjoying the experience here at the conference. And we went to Wizard Quest, which is here in the Dells. And um, he had to use the restroom. And he was misidentified as a girl and told, no, little girl, you've got to go to the other restroom. And, um, that happens quite a lot um, with my son, and each moment you can see him shrink a little bit. Um, we do the best we can as parents to uh, make him feel confident about who he is. But I think the importance of it is that if we make assumptions as lawyers, um, it can ruin that relationship with a client. It can fracture that trust that's needed uh, to do a good job to get information from our clients. Why is it important that we recognize culture? Why does it impact what we do as lawyers, as judges, or in our community? It's because you take the value of a person by acknowledging who they are. If you think of your own biases, your own impressions or assumptions, you're setting up a false statement about who that person really is. We need to be comfortable to ask questions about things that we don't know. Um, some people may have a hesitancy to ask about my son's hair. Why, why does he wear his hair long? Um, as a non-native, I wouldn't expect you to know why my son wears his hair long. But if we're in a comfortable situation where you can ask that question, um, you feel comfortable to ask it, and, and I feel like you're listening, actively listening, where I can share that information. Um, wow, that just changes the dynamic of the relationship you and I have. Um, and in a setting where you're a lawyer for that person who may walk into your office with long hair as a native male, um, I think it's important to have a rapport with that person, actively listen to them in order to do your job well for them. And for us to be effective and to respect other people's differences, you've got to listen. You've got to find out what that person's really about. What are some of the cultural things that drive their being, that impact how you interact with them, how they interact with you, how you can better communicate with them, and a comfort level between you and that person. And systemically, it's good for our whole system that people take the time, and it might take a little more time, to talk to someone and say, you know what, let me get to know you. What are some of the things that created who you were? If we do that, we're likely to get better communication better understanding of what they want, what they need, so that they can use the services you want to render, and quite frankly, just have a better observation about what's going on around us.